ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joseph Novich with Senior Trading Manager with GDM. Today's session outlook, we have a lot of interesting things to take a look at. Of course, we're waiting today for the American President Donald Trump to uh, announce his uh, tax reform plan. And of course, um, another focus for the market today uh, is the dollar that is uh, actually higher against the yen. Uh, while, of course, the euro also held its uh, five and a half month uh, high due to the concerns about the risk that poses uh, uh, the French elections uh, uh, later this week. Also, of course, the sentiment is improving uh, on reduced concerns uh, for the um, uh, elections, uh, uh, for the French elections uh, later this week from some investors as well. Uh, uh, but of course, uh, we're, we're going to see this uh, particular um, market move uh, throughout the whole week as well. Uh, volatility will also start gradually climbing uh, uh, from uh, this uh, uh, session and towards tomorrow, which is, of course, a day full with very important fundamentals. Unlike today, of course, is uh, what we see. Uh, only we're looking at uh, the mortgage applications out of uh, the United States and also we're looking at the crude oil stock change uh, foreign bond investment for Japan and of course that's pretty much uh, all of the calendar uh, expected uh, information and of course the most important Trump's administration to announce the tax reform plan all eyes on that let's have a look at the charts how the markets are uh, hit, uh, doing uh, today uh, in the previous session, of course, uh, we saw uh, our first objective achieved uh, at 1.0950 on the euro dollar. And of course, uh, we're looking for some further upside uh, towards 1.1, uh, uh, which of course lies our final objective uh, for now. Uh, but of course, as we can see, some retracement is needed uh, for the trend to continue. Right now, of course, we're going to stick with uh, our bullish um, uh, outlook uh, for the near term. Uh, the British pound is um, uh, still sidelining after some uh, uh, extended moves uh, against the dollar uh, in the previous session up to 1.2850, but roughly flat uh, since uh, you know compared to levels of today uh, this is not the case as we mentioned uh, for the dollar yen pair uh, we've seen uh, two objectives uh, uh, achieved uh, throughout the uh, yesterday session and overnight as well uh, also looking at uh, crude oil prices uh, we, we saw um, our first objective reached uh, yesterday in, in the session as well so right now we're looking at further downside uh, to uh, the crude prices Gold is uh, uh, now confirming below a 12.68 uh, uh, and of course uh, we can see some uh, more downside below 12.62 uh, 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 but of course uh, it's uh, quite possible to see some uh, test of the 12.62.69 area in the near term as uh, uh, should you know the downside could be expected to uh, extend towards the 12.55 Key support area and of course uh, should the uh, commodity remain below 1268 we can see some significant downside and also that could happen on some uh, strengthening of the US dollar and of course the Trump administration to announce the tax reform plan which is the one thing that could boost the dollar depending of course on how the markets will react this is uh, something that we're going to be looking at um, later today in the US session uh, for now of course we're going to follow up uh, on our previous uh, scenarios on the currency pairs and commodities uh, that we're currently trading and of course uh, for uh, uh, more updates of course i'm going to talk to you again tomorrow so thank you very much for joining us i'll see you again tomorrow please like or subscribe bye bye